A tri-state mother is back home after police say she was hit by a drunk driver last month. Simone Jameson has more on how she's now navigating life with some challenges because of it. More than a month after officials say Betty Funk was hit by a drunk driver as she rode her bike home here on Harrison Avenue, Funk tells me it's been a gruesome recovery. It's really hard. Don't press too hard, please. My foot's really swollen. I have to wear one of his man shoes to go out. This is what every day looks like for Betty Funk's family since the crash that nearly took her life. There was uh, multiple broken bones, lots of different fractures. Fractures up and down her body from the accident. Funk was riding her bike home along Harrison Avenue July 18th when officials say 35-year-old Craig Smith swerved off the road and onto the sidewalk hitting her. According to court records, Smith had a blood alcohol level of 0.17 or higher at the time of the crash and had his seven-year-old daughter with him. I wish he understood that he changed multiple lives, my life, my partner's life, my daughter's life, his life, his family's life, his child's life. He needs to be made to pay for this. Smith was arrested on multiple charges, including aggravated vehicular assault. Funk and her partner, Charles Diver, say the arrest pales in comparison to the physical, emotional, and financial pain their family has endured. I can't stay asleep for more than maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and I'm waking up in pain. Funk has had more than half a dozen surgeries and rods placed in her arms and legs, on top of staples, skin grafts, stitches, and bandages that must be changed every 24 hours. It's really, um, Emotionally upsetting because I went from being independent to now being dependent on someone and it's very, uh, it's very stressful. Funk says she will likely have to walk with a cane for the rest of her life and won't be able to work again. Her partner says the loss in revenue will now cost them their home. Big thing for us is loss of financial income. We've lost 70 plus. Now on top of her losing both her jobs, we also lost our daycare. The couple tells me they've applied for Section 8 housing and SNAP benefits to care for their four-year-old daughter. We're actually working really hard to figure out like how we're going to be able to afford groceries. It's going to be a long up here battle. The family tells me a good Samaritan gifted them with a car to help in their situation, but that there's still a lot more help that they're needing. They're asking for people to donate groceries and contribute to their GoFundMe. Anyone who is interested can visit the GoFundMe website and type Betty Funk in the search bar. On Harrison Avenue, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.